Hello, Pisces. Your song is... Ooh, Good Thoughts, Bad Thoughts by Funkadelic. I didn't hit shuffle on my phone this time because I forgot to and I started the video without doing so. So I just kind of was like, yo, what's the song? So they said, Good Thoughts, Bad Thoughts thoughts i don't know why that's such a tongue twister good thoughts bad thoughts by funkadelic super good song honestly everyone should listen to it if you haven't heard now you've heard you gotta go listen to it such a good song especially if you want to get your thoughts right such a good song so pisces yo here are the updates so i've been doing mandala readings haven't uploaded a video this week sorry but i have it on my saged app little bio thingy not bio but i have it on my series so if you download the sage app you can find it there it's a written out mandala 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 energy reading sorry you guys did the last video so you're getting all the bloop, bloop, bloop. but yes you can find it there the link to download is in my bio i made it super simple so you guys don't have to do the switching screens and checking all the other stuff and extra 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 read all about it just go ahead and go to the link in my bio, hit the download button, and it'll pull right up. Easy. It'll pull up on you like you didn't even have to ask it to come over. So, also, my Patreon. Um, if you sign up for $2.22 for the subscription, you get a monthly mandala reading. So for those of you that want something that's a little more personalized, but don't want to pay the $50.55 $55 see oh my gosh $55 for the reading this is a good alternative but also there are other tiers so that you are able to still get a mandala reading for your own little self um, for a discounted price as well just because I loves you so here we go I don't feel like talking much more about that but it's super cool and if you go to the website go to the link in my bio you'll be able to read the why and how and the purpose of it and all those things but also i have a video up here on my igtv for more information on that oh my goodness pisces what the heck are y'all doing today <laughs> definitely caught in illusions and caught in your head and sneaking around and all this other stuff <sighs> okay let me straighten my glasses let me take a sip <laughs> i'm serious All right, Pisces, here we go. So, Pisces, Seven of Cups, first card out. You guys are living in an illusion and you need to pull yourself out. I don't know who told you about this dream world or what rules and things they had in it, but it's not, it's not, it's not real. Like you need to like maybe do some research on what the real world is like and figure your shit out. <laughs> Because what you've been doing isn't cutting it. I'm sorry. i am just got to tell you. And if there are opportunities coming to you at this time, I do want to say to be careful about them. They might not all be beneficial to you. And they might not even necessarily be fruitful for uh, what you're trying to build futuristically. <clears throat> but also don't get so overwhelmed with all these options either. Um, you know, amongst them is a definitely good and positive one it is just a matter of being patient and allowing it to show itself to you but like if i were to ha have to pick one out of this card like which cup i feel is the opportunity i feel like it is this orange one so i don't know if that might help you make your decision but the color orange also has to do with the sacral chakra also has to do with the emotions so don't get swept away by your emotions. There's a decision that you have to make. I feel like it's an emotional one, uh, one that you are really not wanting to make, one that you might be dreading making, one that just is like, I don't know, man, I don't know. And I feel like they're saying that is the option. You know, don't bullshit yourself and sit here and tell yourself that none of the shit is real when you see all these cups right in front of you and you can literally touch them. But at the same time, you're still like sitting over here not wanting to disregarding all these opportunities, these responsibilities, these things that you need to be held accountable for. Um, so get out of dreamland. You know, I know you guys love to be there. I know you guys love to live there. I know you guys were born there. <laughs> but you guys need to come back to Earth for a moment and take care of your shit. 
Um, <clears throat> so sacral chakra, speaking to that, it also helps us identify with ourselves sexually. So that doesn't necessarily have to mean sexual orientation, um, but it could be how we identify with our genders as well. So, you know, if maybe you feel you are none of the genders, so maybe you feel you're more non-binary. You know, it's really... Um, I feel like this is also speaking to a matter of getting real with yourself and who you are. Um, if you need to make some external changes to really fit the outside with the inside, you got to do it. You know, stop listening and looking to these different people for their opinions and their hearsay and worrying about, you know, all the extra stuff. Know that I love you. You're amazing. Look however you want to look. Feel however you want to feel. Honey, if you want to run naked down the street and jump in a pond, bitch, I will, I will stand on the sidelines and clap for you if that is what it takes. I will do anything to make you feel like you are loved and comfortable being in your skin. And that is the attitude that you should have towards yourself as well. Because um, I love you as you are, so love you as you are. Don't get so caught up in these illusions and all these expectations. And I should look and feel this way and etc. Feel comfortable in your own skin. It's Pride Month. If you feel like you need to come out on any level, you know, even if you aren't necessarily part of the LGBTQ plus community, um, even if you are just who you are and there's something that you feel you need to step forward about, feel free, feel comfortable, feel okay doing so. Um, don't sit here blind and be like, I can't I don't understand what's happening. I, I can't, I just can't see how this adds up. And it's like, cause your eyes are fucking closed, bitch. Like if you just open your eyes, maybe you would have some clarity around here. <laughs> so it's a matter of, you know, stop being blind to it. Stop, stop playing it off like it's not there. Stop pretending like it doesn't matter. It does matter and clearly it matters to you. So, you know, if it matters to you and if it matters enough to care about, then care about it. Do what you need to do. Feel comfortable in your own skin. Feel happy being who you are. And if there are things that you aren't saying, things that you are keeping inside, emotions that you are keeping inside, this is another little, hey, to go ahead and, you know, work through it. You don't make the, make the comp competition. I don't know what y'all are saying about competition. Let go of the idea of competition. It's not real. Let go of that idea and accept that there is collaboration. Collaboration is actually what it is. There is no competition. There is enough for everybody. You know, all these cups, it's like, oh, this opportunity. Well, it seems like she was better for that. What the heck? Well, it seems like she was better for this. What the heck? Where's my opportunity? Where's my cup? And it's like, you know, in this matrix, they make you feel and seem like your abilities aren't an asset to what they're doing but it's really just a matter in fact of recognizing that as much as they want to preach competition 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 honey if you are rejected from this opportunity it is not for you and there's something better best and believe and trust and all this stuff that <laughs> you best believe it because it's true so don't get caught up in the matrix in their way of thinking think outside of the box think source wise think in terms of the universe know that we can collaborate. There are opportunities for all of us. And, you know, these things that you're afraid of, that you're running away from, that you're closing your eyes to, because literally we have two people that are blinding themselves. Whatever it is, it's all in your head. It's all your thoughts. So stop self-sabotaging by having these thoughts. Stop self-sabotaging self by refusing to make the decision. And stop self-sabotaging by thinking that there is all this competition when really it's just a matter of you, um, you know, not breaking yourself down instead of building yourself up and recognizing that, you know, all of the things are here and ready for you. It's just a matter of, are you going to open your eyes? Are you going to take the blindfold off? Or are you going to continue to be stuck in the matrix and feel like you can't do shit? Because that's what they want you to think and feel. They want you to feel like you can't do anything. They want you to feel like you're powerless, but you better not. Whatever it is that is unhealthy, that is illusion-based, clearly this isn't great energy here. You need to let that shit go. Detach from the situation. Let it go. Even if it's something within, um, do a cord-cutting ceremony. On my Patreon, I have a little ritual there. Again, it's only $2.22, but I have all the steps, all the tools, all the ingredients to do cord-cutting. If you need that, 
this is available to you and so is the Patreon. Um, the person that you're asking about is trustworthy. Trust yourself. 